I was terrible for a lot of years. Terrible. Yeah, I was still better than you. I, <laughs> I just feel like in golf, you got to go down before you go up. Come watch <laughs> Duke Casino. Watch him play craps. It's unbelievable. If his craps game transferred to his golf game, he's he talking hard. Your up. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be a major champion. <laughs> All right, boys, we uh, are live, and I, I think I'm just going to keep saying this, Grant. I'm just going to keep telling everybody that you're our fourth. So okay. we are here with our fourth. Uh, I'm joining Bob Does Sports. You're joining Bob Does okay. Sports. Welcome. That's the title. Tight. Jack could have some fun with the thumbnail. Uh, that's a Jensen special. I would love to do top five biggest clickbaity thumbnails that we titles done? of all time in, in youtube or, or of ours in youtube i'll tell you there's one creator i'm thinking of that's oh, that's, yeah. 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 take it easy over there bring him up take it easy don't take it easy we got we got a guest here today don't do that let's not just bury people right now we're not talking about anybody we're not talking about anybody we're not talking about anybody i'll hit him with a hard click right here and there oh no you know my favorite clickbaity titles are the ones that End in per, uh, parentheses, not clickbait. Yeah, yeah, those are those are yeah, fantastic. That's my favorite. We've, All we've caps, never done that. not clickbait. Just make we've sure no one's clickbait. The match, the yeah. wildest yeah. match. No, I think what the you guys won't believe match. what happened you in this match. Something. The greatest is the over greatest here. Match. The greatest match. Great you know, had every one kind is, of match you could ever imagine. There's a lot of hyperbole. You got to do like of all time. Oh, you got to do like yeah. You have to one in a zillion shots. It's funny because you're probably the only guys that could actually pull that off though. You guys like the, just uh, keep titling every the video the greatest. <laughs> I mean, Jets been, really doing, Jets been doing it a long time. You get, time you get into now. like a rhythm of stuff hitting when you just say that yeah. and you just keep it going. So, who titles the videos? Is it just Jet? Yeah, I, it's, I do. It's, yeah, 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 it's you just have like a thesaurus. <laughs> So do you just, dude, are you just, are you just crossing no words out? I don't want to give it like I'm. <laughs> I don't even know how this. I have gone on like like uh, synonyms.com. Yeah, of course. And you put have. in like you know like found you similar words. You should, you should yeah, start yeah. using uh, chat GD. You should start using AI chat. Uh, we sh that's chat not a bad really thing. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we're using. Sure. I mean, we're using the putters. Get, like, we may get, as well get the transcript <laughs> from the video, throw it in there, and be like, "Give me a title." Yeah, and it'll be I like the fattest group in YouTube. Not waddles clickbait. around a golf no, course no, no. I makes eight that. bogeys like that'll be the that'll be the time. I once did that I went into chat <laughs> I was like I was like give, give me like 10 ideas for like a golf YouTube whatever and they came up with garbage it was horrible oh you actually oh, it's, yeah. it's, it's gotten so much it, better it, though. oh it's gotten better oh, but at the same better. time too it's like you have to you have to play that game sure AI is actually doing thumbnails too are they yeah, yeah. for who Potters well, and thumbnails there's like you trouble. put two thumbnails in this system and basically it tells you which one would perform better are you serious yeah if grant says it, i trust it. I just, we're gonna be I done it but we're all gonna be toast in a couple AI is just gonna kill us all why would you it say, starts with dude, thumbnails. The robot's just gonna the robot's just gonna take me out of bed it's gonna like carry me to a golf course it's yeah. gonna stand it's gonna me play up for it's you. gonna swing me <laughs> yeah and then, and then at some point it's just gonna like take me out and just like wear me <laughs> like a robot's just gonna wear me. I was watching your story the other day. You had a robot deliver your food. Yeah, my tacos. At a, at a, at a, at See, a, that's a, too much. I, dude, really? it was it was wild. I'm sitting there with my wife at a Mexican place, and all of a sudden, like around the corner is yep. this, is this robot that has like shelves on it, and it's got our <laughs> yep, tacos yep, yep. on it, and like it like comes in and is like hello, and then it just like turns itself to it like talks? where the where the thing is, just like. Gives it to you, and then oh, it just yeah, yeah. and then it just left. I had that at a sushi like, restaurant. What yep. did you same say? One. It's the same robot with the little face. Yeah, but it has a couple like yes. tri like little mm -hmm. shelves on it, um, and it comes over. And it's like hello, and it's like here's your water. <laughs> <laughs> you ever see those ones like on the middle of the street like that are delivering food? Yeah, and like, I always. I don't know what to do. I always stand yeah. in their way. Do you really? Yeah, I do. <laughs> you you would. If you I have time, I stand in their Somebody's way. Somebody's food's being delayed yeah. because FP's fucking with That's the right. robot. I mean, but, right. but it seems so inefficient as is. It just goes so slow, and you know you're gonna have people fuck you. you Put those, those things are in Hollywood. There is no way those things aren't getting fucked with all the time. Yeah, I mean, they look cool though. When you're like just walking by and you see this thing just like trying to maneuver past you on the street. I think there's like practical use for them, but then like, I think like. Having them on a golf course mowing lawn is kind of cool. That's like the one that I saw. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. More that's cool. golf balls from the range. Right. Yeah. But I feel like when it takes over human interaction, like I totally like, agree. Would have a direct. 
I'm like, thinking about a like, a, like a waiter. Yeah, exactly. Like I feel like that. And I'm like, I'm like, I give this guy. Like I always give twenty percent, but like this guy didn't really do anything. Like, right. He just <laughs> made the ro- he a just, robot. He, no, no, no. no, no. <laughs> I had a waiter. Like I had a waiter, but then like the robot brought the food, and it, and it was like the waiter's just there to make sure the robot doesn't like Correct. like a fork doesn't get uh, in its way. I can like, a new stuff, video now. Like because it's one sports we played against a robot. Bet you the robot would win. We would. We can't even be human. Smoke. There's very few people we can beat these days. We have been playing bad golf. Uh, and uh, today is when I really recognize how badly we've been playing as a group. Is when we played with Grant and the guys just dialed in every single shot. And like Bob and I, I don't know. Well, I told you, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to lose it mentally. Yeah, I like, feel I'm, like I'm mentally starting to really go. Like, I feel like this is the first time. <laughs> it's starting to wear on me mentally. I feel like this is the it's, first time we're like, I've heard you and Joey really talk about you want to get better at golf because it's time. Like it, you, it was like in the beginning, it was like fun <laughs> it's and not. everything, and then now I think you guys have reached the point where you definitely want to get. They better. don't. They. It, 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 that's a perfect. When you said it's time, I don't even think they necessarily want to get like better. Yeah. Like I think they just they don't. They're tired of. They're tired of being embarrassed on camera. That's part of it. But we you made know, a living I, off I of it. I mean, so. But I think some of it's just like. I just don't want to look bad. At, like I want to. Right. Like you know, you know what, what I mean. Like yeah. eye opening time for me is when I ha- got the new wedges like in the video of me doing the wedge, and people were like, "I hope this doesn't improve Joey's game too much because if he gets better, the channel's dead." That's true. And that was when I was like, "Damn!" Like I am in a crossroads here because <laughs> I've made a living sucking, <laughs> and like I want to play better. And there are stretches where I actually do feel competent. I was telling Perez yeah. where I make good like swings and I feel like I'm actually like I feel like I belong and then there's <laughs> long standing times where I'm like yeah. I am the worst golfer in America man it's <laughs> it's tough and mentally Bob you're right it's like it's starting to get to it me it starts to get to the point where you're just like I guess this is this is it for me this Bob, is where, <laughs> like I don't know where to go you know who you know who thinks you're improving <laughs> who that little kid That's in that restaurant true. oh, oh there's, that. A ten year old, there's a 10 year old in Jupiter that thinks you're getting better Bob. Yeah. Go, go tell this that guy story. comes over to us we're at the bar we're at the ten brass years ring yeah, it's a guy 10 years old yeah yeah it's this guy this guy is a kid 10 years old and he comes over to the table and he's like you know big fan he's talking to us and he just looks over at me he's like you're getting better <laughs> But the way he said it, well, that's it, nice. It, I it looked at him and I, I like kind of lost my way for a second. I just looked at him. I was like, "Damn!" I said, "Did <laughs> I not said say damn?" And you I was said, like, "Damn!" To a yeah, I was, like, I was shocked. Damn, I couldn't believe he, he said, said it. it he, yeah. he like sunned me. Like he was just like, "You're getting better." Because he was like, talking about his game. He's like, "I'm a ten handicap. I'm this and that." And then he looked at Bob. He's like, "And you're getting better." <laughs> It was he, tough, he, he's dude. like you played with Grant recently. Like I've met Grant down here. Yeah, that is true. And he's we like, he's like, it's, okay. he's like, you know, he's basically like, he saw the video, right? And he, and he was like, oh, you're you're getting better. And you were just like, well, Grant, damn. like Grant's that beloved. just means I like Grant's be loved by like kid. he he that kid knows you as not being good. <laughs> That's what you want to hear. Right? Dude. It's it's true. <laughs> it, you know, I think. Kids love Santa Claus the most, and Grant Horvath comes in in a cold second. I've never met a kid that doesn't love Grant Horvath. Like we'll be in like we'll be in parking lots, and kids just flock to you. You are like their modern day hero. They're the way he the kid says it too. He's like, "Do you know Grant?" I'm like, <laughs> "Yeah, dude." Like, yeah, like, you know, you know dude? Grant, right? I was like, like, yeah. "Yeah, man." But I like, that's cool. I, I've had people. I've, I've probably had about ten people where I have to correct. Like I have to. Like when we're out we, at a bar or something like that, there's people who say that they know Grant since like college or this and that, half of which have been true, half of which you have no idea. Yeah. It's not like the guy when I was at Five Iron and then you texted me like I heard it, you met my friend and right. it sounded like complete BS, but it turns out, remember the Nile. last weekend? Good old you Nile. Met Nile. Met Nile. Yeah. The- Irish. You yeah. met Nile. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. is the guy. Remember I texted you, I said I would love to see him do a video with you guys. He's so funny. Yeah, it's it's Nile. It's half, but then there was also one where I I asked you about a guy and you had no <laughs> yeah, clue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, that happened. The kid just comes up and says, Do you know Grant? <laughs> I'm like, Yeah, he's like you're getting better. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like oh. with with your game, Bob, because I've I've known you for a long time and we, we filmed I remember filming that Trump Jupiter oh, match awesome. and I gave you one shot per hole. Yeah. And you were flagging it. You were hitting it great off the tee. Yeah. And you were flagging your irons. And you ended up 
having a collapse on the final I hole. I putted into a bunker. You did. Yeah. But besides <laughs> that, I'm saying just ball striking. Yeah. You might have been hitting it better back then. That's than, tough. Oh, no, no, this is the thing. Where are wanna, you going with this? I, I, hold tough. on. Oh. No, I, I'm, I wasn't done. Just wait. Hold on. I just feel like in golf, you got to go down before you go up. Yeah, that's true. Like you got to get, sometimes you got to make these changes. You get worse for a little sure. bit and you come up out of it and you Metaphor. really start to go. And like your swing coach, you're working with a coach and I feel like you'll go like this, but then when you come out of it, you should do that. But like, you that's, know, no. that's true. But what's crazy is though, is like the, like, okay, if you looked at me yesterday, the way I hit the ball yesterday, you're like, holy shit, he's back. And then to take the dive that I take, yeah. it, it's not like a... <laughs> the first no, half. but it's true. You're right. But that's that's the, with golf, that's the difference between like really good players, right? And, and, and like your kind of average golfer is the consistency. So everyone's best golf for the most part when you, when you play enough, like a 14 handicaps best golf can look really good. Like you can break 80, right? Yeah. And you can look like a really good golfer. But what makes you a 14 handicap is you have that next day. Right. And that's really what it is. I mean, it golf can be is the about, next hole. It, there is a point of golf of like getting, being a better golfer to be able to hit really good golf shots, shots that you don't have as a 14. That's only a little bit of it. What, what really makes you a great golfer is consistently playing solid golf. That's what gets handicapped. Right. And I feel like with Joey's game, like Joey started out one of our videos today and just like came out of the gate yeah. swinging, great wedge shot, yep. great tee shots. And then out of nowhere, airmails the green by yeah. like 30 yards. And Terrible. I knew that was a wrong club. You caught it thin or something. But like the first four swings, I would have thought you were a, a scratch. That's golfer. the perfect example is he doesn't need he doesn't need to go out and, and find shots he doesn't he's not capable of hitting right now. Yeah. If he does what he can already do. Right. More often, right. He's a he can be a six handicap. Right. Right. So it's like oh. there's a little bit of that. I remember the one time down, man. It's, we were in. We were at Ben and Kate. Like, uh, it's like, exhausted. It's, it's, it's like, like a war mentally. story right now. <laughs> <laughs> I get this out. He's going, oh, oh, oh. He's going back to Vietnam no, right I now. Mean, I mean, I remember. <laughs> stop. Stop. He can't let him stop. He's like, really oh, what? <laughs> no, I was just thinking about oh. this. Remember when we were in Florida last time? It was you, me, Micah, and then uh, like all of us, we did like, and we were with Buster Jack, and we did like the strokes, and then you guys gave me strokes, and somehow I won. Yeah. And then like midway through, Micah was like, I think he's gotten too many strokes. I'm like, no, I'm, I'm just playing really solid right. because I, if I catch like a, a that perfect, it's like it's like a runner's high. Bob was talking about it's the other beautiful day. Thing. It's like when you catch that, it's like you feel that little wave of confidence. I can ride that for like five, six holes, but I always know in the back of my head there's going to be an impending yeah, you gotta some get rid kind of, of blow. You gotta get rid of that, and then it's just like I it could be too. the smallest thing, and as soon as it happens, that high that I have going like this, it just it 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 verts yeah and it's just like this i think jo i think you know fp really well too i think joey swings a lot of like timing yeah and i think at impact you actually get to a great impact position like technically speaking you get to a really good impact position but there's a lot that happens before you get to that impact position oh, where the collapsing elbow, yes man. that little collapsing yeah. and all these different things create the inconsistent shot yeah and that's where you could be on for a little bit all right, Jeff, we are coming to you live from the Callaway shoot here with the new Odyssey AI-1 putter. The first time AI artificial intelligence has been used in a putter. John Rahm uses it, Xander Shoffley uses it, and somehow, some way, we now use it too. It's gonna get you 21% closer to the hole, and most importantly, eliminate three putts. Nobody likes three putts. You could either putt with it, or you could be against it, and I certainly wouldn't wanna be against it. Everything's coming up Odyssey right now. Get yours today at odysseygolf.com, and of course, putt smarter. Hey, I won, Yaman. Let's give it a whirl. So I, w I thought about going to get like the, s the swing. I actually went. For a lesson, you're you, yes, you, you have a very strong, like very strong grip, which is never going to let you keep a straight arm because you can't you can't get around yourself when your hands like this, right? So you're going to have to break down to feel like you're getting a parallel. So there's all these sorts of things, and you're exactly right when you make like Bob. Bob has a, uh, a great setup. He's on plane. Yeah, he's very little adjustments to make. 
to, to like he go. won't I have the down. I think he even collapses a little bit at the top. Too. Correct, but they he won't have he won't have quite the same like shock to the system that Joe might to yeah. make a serious change. And you're exactly right. When you go do those things, you're going to have the low, which is what most people go through, right? But those people go through the low, and then they work at their job Monday through Friday, and then the next week and they pick they're it up still again. at the low. They have they have to they have to go six days before they get to work on it again. Right. So yeah, you're going to go through the low, but you, we have weeks in between you being on video again and you have every day to go make it happen so you just got to yeah. put in the time know that for a week off camera two weeks off camera while you're making this change it's going to feel weird yeah you're going to be but hand up you got to make the, you got to make the you got to make the commitment to do it if you really care you got to do it you got yeah you, you can't sit here on a podcast talk about how bad you are no, at golf I and mean, you hate it you got to go do something right yeah I mean, yeah. I, I've, I'm playing like shit right now. Yeah. Quite frankly. Yeah, you're right. I mean, and uh, no, no, I got to go do I something know. about it. <laughs> no, no, I didn't. No. True. I need help. Jet's the only one no. who's got his shit together. No, I only, yeah, Jet, I, true. I only play on camera. Yeah. And the key, <laughs> Brilliant. Listen, that was a huge swing conversation. I didn't understand most of it. <laughs> I do want to know if Grant is a proponent of getting shallow, though. Got to get shallow. Are you a proponent of getting shallow in the in the swing? Uh, the down swing? Because <laughs> that, yeah, that one, that that one is, came from left that field. Is, that is the key to my golf swing yeah. and to everybody's golf swing, in my opinion. You like to get shallow. Exactly. Get shallow. <laughs> well, I think that word is very overused. Okay, perfect. I actually perfect. just dropped the teaching video on perfect. it yesterday. I was going to say, because you're talking, like the way you guys are talking about the swing is so, is so like sophisticated that like, and I know you're, you're, you're like a teacher. Yeah. So I think... We need well, I did, a, I did. I just dropped the teaching video with Chris Como, and he's number two in the world, sure. swing coach. He's well, he knows way more than me. Um, Isn't he and, from CNN? Well, he that's did Golf that Channel. Is, that's Cuomo. No, Cuomo. <laughs> oh, oh, gosh. Yeah, no, that's no. good, though. His brother yeah. was a gun. He's golfing now. My wife said the we same thing. We gotta get him on yeah. the channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 She thought the same exact thing. Um, <laughs> Chris Como, number two in the world, worked with Tiger Woods. Works with Jason Day right now. A lot of guys. I did a video with him. Nice guy. lives He lives here in West Palm. Um, and he we were we did a whole video on just about getting shallow. And he <laughs> he blows my mind with how much he knows. It's crazy, like how technical can, yeah. you can get, and like how we, much he just knows about any, like everything. Can I go back to me for one sec? Yeah, of course. Let me go back to me. <laughs> this is um, Bondo Sports. Let podcast. me go back to me. Um, I honest to God, have you ever seen? And like I I went on kind of a rant to you today have you ever seen somebody have that dra the change yeah. that i do to where you can't get off the like at least when yeah. he's bad he'll spray it but at least he's hitting it off the tee i got something going now where <laughs> i can't get off the tee yeah, no no i have i mean what's that for you're sure you're taking divots yeah. off the tee with it's, your, it's with i can't get off the have you're you seen not, that yeah then? yeah 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 so okay <laughs> you're not like you're not like you're not going crazy yeah you're okay. like that I you know, that happens he's he's like it's true it's true like that that has happened. The 14 handicap <laughs> is not supposed to like play great golf for a whole week straight. It doesn't yeah. make any sense. That's why you're 14 handicap. I mean, some of the stuff that you have is just, it, he's, he, he's right. He told you the same thing we've been telling you about ball position. This I feel is, like this Bob's is just asking like specific. He just like, still wants I mean, to make contact and course, advance but it, like the pop ups. The, yeah, I feel like I'm like, pushing. yeah, but you're not. So, like, I noticed that when he told you on 10 T you need to move your ball position up on driver. So you're popping it up because your ball position is too far back. You have no time to hit up on the ball. You're hitting down. Your you're hit, you're pin, hitting under. Yeah. It. You're compressing a driver, which is up in the air already. So you're, <laughs> you're, you're yeah, up, you're yeah. shooting straight up. So it's like, but you <laughs> didn't change. Stars, you though. didn't change anything. So I'm not going to sit there on every tee box and be like, Bob, Move that ball up, like, right, right, right. It's obnoxious, right? So, yeah, uh, but I'm. That, but that's I'm, the hardest thing in golf is yes, like, don't touch like, people. I've worked with Joey on like bunker shots and Bob, and I, I see them setting up the ball, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> yeah, I, I can't say it now. You do it every time. No, and I'm not going to say anything yeah. because I'm but just I'm like sitting there. They're playing. I'm not yeah. going to sit there and be Did like. Did you see this. him not change his ball position? Yeah, exactly. On that yeah. back nine, right. he still <laughs> moved the driver back. I'm yeah. sitting there, I'm like, yeah. he's going to do it again. Yeah. And he's gonna do it sure again. Enough, he and did. did it, and it, it won't be every time because you'll you'll figure out the timing. But like you got it, yeah. If I mean, if you think about an arc like this when you're coming down and up, like you're catching it on the way when the arc's going down, and you need to be catching it when it's coming up on yeah. the swing plane for a driver. Yeah. For the driver, yeah, exactly. You get away with it with your irons. You had a lot of great iron yeah. shots today. Your irons were really solid it's just your driver and you got to almost play it like off your left foot and yeah. exaggerate it he's got to feel like it's 
he'd be better off hitting a nice big old fade or something like oh for sure than than popping it up really anything than yeah yeah this is this is good this right is, right yeah I think I I even said to you that I started um not to make it about me but but I I I recently because now it's like okay now I really want to take it seriously I go on and get lessons now. I spend some time now going to the range tour. Now I really want to start really figuring it out. Yeah. And then I go on to the course the other day, and it was like, oh, this is it. I yeah. got it. And it felt great. And then when it goes, it just goes. But you but also play better off camera. Yeah, well, I'm mental. No, but when we just go and play, <laughs> yeah. like no, when we just first, go. That's true. I when we just go and play, play Bob good. and I and myself, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why it's like I'll shoot like and I'll post my score and people are like you're such a liar There's no fucking chance you shot an 82 and I'm like I actually did I played really yeah. solid But I think there's a component when you're on camera It's just like oh my god like and you're thinking about in the back of your head that like all right a couple hundred thousand people are gonna watch me sh Like the one <laughs> shot there's no just, way that's, that's just the very worst thing to be thinking that? out <laughs> I'm not point, thinking yeah. consciously I, I, don't I think, think it's that. subconscious I don't think it's been oh. years now what, Did you see what I did? Did on that one T box, but that was because, I put it into the water. That was because the camera. Feet. So, yeah. But, yeah. but yeah, no. But there's more pressure. You know, there's tigers, tigers out there in the tournament, and there's people all around. And he gets into the zone where no one's there. You well, need that's to try Tiger Woods. To, no, I, think, I know, but you gotta like when you build something up. When you have like a, a build up to a shot, that's that's the one guarantee that it's gonna go wrong. Yes, yeah, I don't get that. Sometimes I hit them real good when that happens. You know when what? you build up and then there's like a delay. What eases my mind with that is just about that. knowing yeah. that. Yeah, 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 that's what it's. Really and it might help for you about. is I I don't worry about that because I think okay if I duff the shot it's great for the channel because like people will think it's fucking hysterical. I don't want to do that, but that's what kind of puts my mind. I think that top today was perfect, like timing and everything. FP was on the drone getting a beautiful shot. Dude, you should see just, this cinematic of this That top. is going to be it's gorgeous. Hysterical. It's a gorgeous It's going to be hysterical. It, 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 it is right one of the, the worst yeah. shots I've truly ever... I <laughs> dug the ball into the ground. It literally hit like a plinko and went straight up <laughs> and dropped and plopped in the water in front of me 10 feet. This feels so good to get this out, though. <laughs> it's therapeutic. I've, I've had a lot kind of pent this up. Is what we, we're, it we're is. supposed to be on the... Um, we're yeah, just thanks for coming on. Yeah. It's like our It's just good. No. It feels good to. I want uh, you guys to get it out. Get to, it out. I got one more thing to say. Yeah. <laughs> in baseball, like when I was playing in college and high school and all this stuff, yeah. I, I I never was nervous because I felt in control because I knew what I was doing. I was comfortable throwing the ball. When I stand over a golf ball, I'm nervous because I don't know what. I don't <laughs> have the force. I don't feel in control on the mound. I feel in control. Even other sports, I feel in control. Yeah, pickleball. Golf, I pickleball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. In control, in right. pickleball. I'm not in control I think, in this game. Which yeah, is wild it, because the ball ain't moving. <laughs> right. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. you, you're, you're never more in control. I know. Like, you know what I'm saying? I know. It's kind of crazy. You're getting better, Bob. Other you're sports are mostly like reacting. Fuck to you, something. Jen. <laughs> what, but, do you, what do you, Grant, what do you do? Like, yeah. are you, yeah. are <laughs> you, can, what do you, <laughs> I'm, I'm done. I'm I'm done. done. I, I, I like this. I'm, I'm trying to be This is the same thing. It's like, what do you, like, just because you have a little bit of a teaching thing, if you feel like your swing's off or like something's not right, do you, are you able to just video yourself on the range and then look at it and be like, or do, you, do you work with anyone? Do you send, do you do you bounce things off of people when you feel like your positions are good? Maybe you're not hitting it quite the way you want. Does that ever even happen? Like, No, yeah, for sure. I, I go through like little. Right now I've kind of smoothed it out, but I'm going through like this every day with golf. Like, and you know that. It doesn't sure. matter how good you are. You're always going like this with yeah. golf. Um, I feel like I, I've gotten to the point where I can like self-correct and I can really feel like little things in my swing, whether it's how the club's bottoming out through the grass. Like I can feel it not bottoming out good. Sure. Or my hands are too high at impact or too low. Like there's things like instant feedback that I get from every single golf shot, whether it's looking at the ball flight. I hit a drive and like it's not spinning enough. I'm like, okay, let's move it up in the stance. Let's launch it a little higher. Like I'm always going through feedback with my swing after every shot um and that's just with time yeah and also like my dad's a pro and he's helped sure. me a lot um but yeah i mean I, I, i'm always going like this up and down up and down constantly you're so good yeah <laughs> that's it's what that's what a lot of good players can do like you know your swing oh and i can feel right when up, it comes off up, the club up and like all around you know exactly what your positions are where they should be and yeah i mean that that's a that's a really like it's a, what really good players feel. No, like. some days like you don't have it at all, and like yeah. and then you start tinkering. And I tinker like crazy when I'm not playing good. I will go through 
five or six different feelings in my swing sure. to one clicks. And I'm like, oh, we're going to stick with that. Yeah. That's... And I ride it the rest of the round, which, you know, if you don't know the golf swing, it, it's not really like that can't happen with every golfer. It's almost not fair for great players because good, good, good golfers, even when they're playing bad, they have the ability to correct it. Right. When, when, when not so great golfers aren't playing well, they, they, they're, you're lost, right? You guys are just out there lost as hell might as well be blind and it's like it's like not only when you're like these guys are great and then even when they're not great they can fix it like yeah, yeah. but back to like the bob on i played with bob versus like on camera versus off camera i played with you at die preserve and i feel like i noticeably see that you get more excited like it's not a bad thing i think that's good like you care about the video and like like because i thought you were lying to me when you're like man i got excited there like i'm getting amped up and then now i've like visibly watched it happen because yeah. die preserve we went and played that one day yeah you were just like relaxed and swinging yeah. and you're hitting it good but like today i could tell before every time right. you wanted it like wanted so it. bad you're like you i feel like if that club head like you're strangling mm -hmm. the grip yeah like that grip is strangled yeah now i do I, it's um, true but yeah it, it's definitely easier said than done and i feel like the technical stuff we, for sure but just like yeah, the camera was something for me even adjusting to was like starting going straight into good, good. And they were like getting, you know, tons of views. Yeah. I was exactly what Joey's like. You, that's a weird feeling knowing that, you know, whatever X amount of people are about to watch you hit this shot. And they're going to like if you miss the yeah. three footer, they're going to. I mean, we like, have a good like, we have a good fallback on the fact that when we play bad people actually do enjoy it great yeah i think it's hysterical so like it's not the worst thing in the world but i i just i'm a pretty competitive person i know bob is too so like we can only lose so many matches to fp and it's like <laughs> it's like man like i mean like at the end of the time jet like jet's got to be putting up the thumbnail and people are like oh my god these guys like when we first played them a couple times we actually won a couple times him, yeah. and yeah. it's like that feels good. Like, I don't want to always lose a match. Yeah, that's fair. I don't always, you know, and it's like, I, I get it that like when we play bad, it's funny. And like, especially me, like I have meltdowns and I blow up <laughs> and like people like, yeah. I think that seems to do better than anything else. But so that is a good feeling knowing at least like that's the fallback. But as a competitive person who played pretty high level sports when I was younger, like in hockey and stuff, like I just don't want to be subpar in the way that I'm actually not subpar yeah. in real life, but like, you know what I'm saying? But if, yeah. if you, if you lose that, if you lose that desire, you'll never have the blow ups. That's right. Right. You have the blow ups because you care so much. To yeah. be good. I yeah. do. And that's so what we need you to, we need you to keep, I like if it. I didn't care, I wouldn't, I wouldn't lose yeah. my shit. I think what, what I've noticed with Bob and Joe, and you can tell me if I'm wrong, FP, I don't think like when they get coached, I don't feel like, I feel like you guys listen, mm -hmm. but they don't necessarily apply it. Like yeah. they, they listen, they pick up little things, yeah. but then it's like, you're focused maybe on the video, or you're focused on other things, you don't really, and it's like, it's hard to make and commit to the change, and the change is what sucks. They they really love to play golf, right? Yeah. And when you're going through any sort of coaching and swing changes and stuff, actually, like, playing golf in the very beginning is the oh, is not good, right? Horrible. You you want to you wanna spend those days after, a, like, if you go get a lesson on a Monday, Tuesday through Thursday, you don't touch the golf course. Just right. You should go range. to the range and work on those feels, get some video, yeah. make sure you're doing the right thing. If you feel like you're getting a little bit of momentum with it, then go out on the course on Friday and see if you can apply it. But you guys just love playing the game, yeah. which everyone does. Like, right. I, I love playing golf too. I don't practice as much as I should. And it shows in some, you know, videos and things like that. But like, if you really want to commit to making a change to get better, that's what you have to do. You have to realize, all right, I'm going to have to go out to the range a little bit more than I really like to um but that's the only way to like you're not going to go to a lesson for an hour and the, and the guy's going to get you in a position that you'll just go to every time from there yeah out. it just won't be the case yeah i, I need to hit the range a lot more they're i mean like there you guys are also not seeing i'm playing good golf right now and that's what recently people have seen but like the years when i was young like growing up and stuff i was terrible for a lot of years <laughs> Terrible. Yeah, I, I mean, this and was, it stank. <laughs> with, all, with all due respect, I was still better than you. I, I, I'd love to just show up and just watch you play horrible. Oh, it, like yeah. I just, I'd be curious I to see what it, glass like. Not even it, yeah. uh, in all honesty, because I played so many rounds with you, where you just lights out. Like I, I would want to see what it looks like and then watch you kind of adjust 
or how you like I because I've never seen you play close to that. So I'd be curious to watch how you go scholars. about that, right? And how scholars. how he like yeah. tweaks in the middle of like he's starting to sound like what is he what, how is he adjusting? How is he trying to correct it? Yes. That is pretty interesting. I don't mean that if as that, like a dick the, thing. I don't know if you could ever plan for that going into a video. Yeah. But like if mid video you realize you weren't swinging well, and then you could go into like a teaching thing of like, hey, I'm out here today. I've realized midway through the front nine, I'm not really hitting the ball well. Right. And I'm going to talk to you guys verbally about some That's corrections I'm going to try to make video idea. mid round idea. right now to try to correct this, and let's see if it works. I'm going to shout you out. Does that make when sense? I, yeah, when I when that happens, because it's going to happen again. I didn't play, I wasn't swinging good at Beth Page the first five holes. I was five over through like sure. five holes. And I found something that clicked. I think it was on the fifth hole after I was five over through five. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to shoot 90 on Chase camera. With Grant. No. But it's not a and video you're going to know that you're shooting until you get in the middle of it. And then right. you're going to have to say, all right, I'm, we're going to pivot off of whatever video we just started. Yeah, but and those I'm gonna thoughts of me shooting 90 were going through my head. After yeah. I was five I'm like, I feel like I'm lost. But you say, look, I miss, I just missed these things left. We're going to go into this. Like, I'm missing left because I think that I'm doing this. Right. I'm going to try to exaggerate oh, yeah. this feel. Watch this. Let's see if this works. Like, oh, I went too far. That one went right. Here's what yeah, we're going to yeah, do yeah, on yeah. the next shot. That's cool. I think people are going to want to see what – a golfer who's missing certain directions or thinning or they're going to want to see like, all right, what's the on course move here. That is cool. That what is up? Really cool. I feel like people ask for exactly what you're saying, like how to think around the course, but also mm. those. Well, a lot of people want to fix their slice. But yeah. They want to fix their slice when they're out there slicing the ball. Right. Exactly. It's easy to go like, Hey, on the range, here's how you fix your slice. Like hit a bunch of balls, feel this way. It's like, dude, I'm out on the course yeah. right now. And right. I have one shot with the driver right now. And I won't have it again for five more shots. Right. How do like, what's the, like that thing I got to do. And what's crazy, like bringing up, like correcting on the course though, and like getting off. The thing is with golf is you go to a PGA tour event and you go to the range. These are the best players in the world. And they have coaches yeah. looking at them. <clears throat> and like, we're not, we're not going to have coaches looking at us 24 seven, but these are the best players in the world. And they're looking for little things. It could be ball position. They're looking for alignment, shoulder alignment, anything, maybe a, a transition feel, anything to help them. And that could make them win that week yeah. because they find something that clicks. And it's just golf is so touchy too that you got to realize like you, in the moments when you're not playing good, it's like, this is just part of it. Like it is so touchy the game of golf and it's always like this that's what makes it fun to just not being able to figure out to me is is kind of fun like it's kind of enticing not just having no just trying to figure i mean for everybody of all of us i feel like just trying to figure that out yeah it's an allure of life and like and you guys and like i look Everyone's at him, really good. I look everyone's at a Brian, tigers though, that way fp i know we played with george yeah. Scott. i look at him the golfer I am, I feel like I look at George and I'm like, how does he possibly hit his driver as good as he hits it? He's so good, man. Because like I've played with PJ Tour players and George does not miss. He uh, when we did I that, get scared. We did that video in uh, Purcell Farms. Micah was there. Berkshire, Claire Hogle. Oh, you were, you were partners with George, right? Yeah, and I didn't really know. I didn't really know anything about him. And uh, <laughs> Joe said to me, he's like, you know, we're gonna part you with this guy George. I was like, man, like, is he good? He's like. He's good. <laughs> I was like, all right. I, it, it, to that time, it watch was that the, whole video. Watch the entire. Remember, thing. I was trying to get him to take the cocktail. Every second, you were time. trying to make him drink the transfusion. And George yeah, doesn't drink. He wouldn't do it. <laughs> oh my gosh, it was so. Yeah. And then it was funny. like a big moment, yeah. and I had like three transfusions ordered to me, and he was like, "Bob, like you can't do that now." I was like, "It's exactly what I want." Right <laughs> you were going against George. Yeah. <laughs> George, um, but he was the not best. Drink. It was the best golfer I have ever. I was fascinated oh. by how good this. <laughs> There's was. levels. I really There's levels was to dude. everything. There really is and george ball striking sound oh. everything you can't find a much better ball striker no. on he's, the a, he's a tour, he, like, he's a tour golfer yeah yeah like, he's a tour he, level he, golfer he that's playing somewhere yeah, yeah him and his brother he i mean he's yeah. he's a he's good man like he's he is he he does not look out of place on a PGA Tour driving range. Yeah. Right. Oh, like, no. oh my gosh. Because I played in the John Deere Classic with him, and he's hitting oh, yeah. next to all the guys, and he's hitting it better. Yeah. He's making a better sound than a lot of the guys. Crazy man. To he's got such a good move. So like wow. Oh. You know the comfort. Back to that comfort thing on camera. Yeah. I was uh, when I first started filming with you guys way back when, um, and I went out when I came out for the foreplay thing. 
um, to do that first video. And I had some buddies that were talking to me like, you're going to go out to like, what's that going to be like? Yeah, I don't camera like Barstool and stuff. Like you have hundreds of thousands of people. Like, aren't you going to be nervous? And I thought about it. And what I told myself, what I've convinced myself ever since then is that if a hundred thousand people were going to watch me do something, I would want it to be golf. Right. That's, that's, oh, what that's, a great place to be. That's, that's, the, best real thing. Thing. that's the that's best thing I have. Yeah. So like if a hundred thousand people were going to watch me do something, I'd probably, if someone's like, what would it be? And I'd be like, I'd probably pick golf. Like that's the thing I'm most comfortable doing. It'd be so, golf or fishing for me. But yeah, I, yeah, I love that statement. But that yeah. got me yeah. immediately going out to film with you guys and not feeling weird Do you know what it. yours yeah. would be? I was going to ask you what yours craps, would be. Dude. The craps table. Oh my God. No, I think mine would be singing. <laughs> Joe, with sing all due respect, you got a great voice. <laughs> craps. Okay. Wow. You think I'm Celine good at craps? Dion. Joe, you, yes. Joe, this was yes. like that was Joe looked. You, <laughs> that was a tough <laughs> moment there. Like, Why don't Joe you go do it, Joe? You just crushed his dream, <laughs> like, dude. It was always it was always a dream of mine. Orlando's to walk up to a in Nashville. It was always a dream of mine. You know, I messaged. Um, What's Whoa. his name? Jordan uh, Jordan <laughs> Davis. I messaged him. I, he, he follows us. He's a great Shout guy. Shout out Jordan Davis. Music, music, country music singer. And he posted a story. <laughs> and I watched his story a million times. And he's like performing. I don't even know. It was like in Charleston or something. And there's just like tens <laughs> of thousands of people. And he gets up. And he does like a little acoustic. And everybody knows the lyrics and starts singing. And he gets up. He grabs the microphone. He starts singing. And people are singing in unison with him. I'm I'm like that has to be the most electrifying He's atmosphere and yeah. feel like i get shivers like, I, get, like, I yeah. get goosebumps yeah. just i that to me if i could walk on a stage one time <laughs> before i die and just perform and have like thousands of people sing along with me for one song i'd walk off you'd never hear from me again it would be the greatest moment I, that is it, he used to life. he used to talk to me about that at the four seasons like he we were working at the four seasons he'd come to my office and like he's like bob could you imagine <laughs> being on stage in front of why you go on the thousands like, of yeah people. why don't you go Joe, on like the selling out an arena Joe, he used to you should have gone on like american office, idol i feel like Get yeah, the dude, fuck out of here. Yeah, that's about not. It. No, it is but, the but Joe, for you, you want a craps table. <laughs> FP's said it. It is, oh, sorry. It, 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 sorry, it's, dude. It I mean, you're good at it. Him, yeah, but I've lost, lost a lot of money. <laughs> <set> <laughs> about he knew. FP. We knew. You guys shut him down, though. Dude, like, what's this? Grant, I don't know if you, like, if you step foot in casinos. <laughs> I, I don't. Not I don't. Too often, no. It's you don't do anything. stuff. Come watch him to a casino with it's us, insane. and we will just watch him play craps. It's unbelievable the He's way in he, the zone. dude. He uh, no, the, what he he the way he operates the table with it, his bets. He he gets paid out on stuff dude. that's wrong, and he can he can quickly correct the dealer. They're like, no, um, that should be two hours and fifty cents more. That should come back, and it goes back to like the thing. And the guy's like, yeah, no, that he's right. He's got the and Zach, he's like, yeah, and then put that the on the go eleven. I'll take that there, hey, and this is for you guys. Like he it's moves. Crazy. It's unbelievable. Have you played that a lot? Yeah, unfortunately, um, my no. math is really good when it comes to like money and stuff like that which you are good too with money with with math but like i just see i just see it i just yeah see yeah. It. yeah that's cool Why? i mean that's a good i mean that's a really good first time measure. i went to vegas with him i um I, I I watched him and I just I couldn't believe what I was seeing. It was yeah. like I've never seen. It's like he turned into like a different person. I was yeah, like, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen someone <laughs> control something the way he controls. Like like operates so crisply and quickly and efficiently. Like he operates on a crap sale. I haven't seen yeah. anyone do anything that way. Gee, if you went anything to, on you went to him head to head in golf, is if, if his craps game transferred to his golf game. He would carve wood. your ass up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he would God, carve you on the ass. tour right now. He would, yeah. he would be on the tour. Carve you up. Oh my God. He'd be, he'd be a major champion, dude. Major champion. Dude, he'd, he'd be, be the sickest champion. golfer of all time. It'd be a quick match. It'd be, it wouldn't be Jack Nicklaus be a, out of the combo. It'd be Joey Dyer, Tiger Woods, who's the best craps player of all time. It's a wild so, boy. So, what's like the most you've won? And. One night in one night. Uh, we, I've had some good nights. I had one night with Ticket where I was down a bunch and we made like, I made like $6,000 in a roll. Wow. That was pretty good. And in then we one went. One roll? Was yeah, that it was like an. Oh, you hit was, like eight. The like, guy was rolling for like an hour. I made six grand. We went 
to um, White Gordon, Castle. I thought they went to Gordon Ramsay's. No, White, White Castle. Castle, they have the burgers. Yeah, we got a bunch of the mini sliders. And yeah, then Ticket sliders. and I, well, Ticket got into an argument with the guy who worked at the at the counter who was nice. better, LeBron or, or, or Michael. That sounds oh, about right. I thought he, and then we went to right I thought he got like an argument. Yeah. Yeah, he's okay. And then we went back and then I lost all the money. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what always happens. But I, I don't know. I mean, I, I I just like, I like, you know what I like? I like the rush. I like fast. I think they, I mean, I like that's fast what I like environment. Yeah. Lots happening. Picking up chips. You're stimulated. The nicknames for bets is wild. Yeah. yeah. Now, what would you you said if it wasn't f for golfing? What's fishing. the next thing? Fishing, huh? Yeah. I mean, yeah. That's like being on camera. If I was in front of a hundred thousand people, definitely fishing. Uh, Are you good? Yeah. I, I love I that. Do a lot of like offshore, out in the ocean. Um, it's a whole other world. I know you guys don't. I mean, I it's not like, so far. I would say this. Now that I'm moving out here, I'd be down to like go on a boat one day and like try to catch like what do you catch like tuna? Yeah, sailfish. Mm -hmm. There's Halibut. so much off Jupiter. You don't have to go very well, like far oh, off to Jupiter. Get to the Gulf Stream. No, right? oh my gosh, you're right it's there. Like a, is it, it's not even a mile. Mahi, right? mahi. Like, oh yeah, mahi like, mahi. You can catch how far? How far out's the Gulf Stream? Four miles, two miles, three two, miles. Yeah. Wow. See, up, so up in close. Virginia, we got to go like. Oh, we yeah. got to go like Jupiter, 30 miles It cuts off. in. The Gulf Stream yeah. cuts along Jupiter. Gee, you were built for Jupiter. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Yeah. I really, it, from the time when we first started <laughs> hanging out in Jupiter, like when after you had first moved, you just seemed a lot more just just at peace. You just, you were very, you're very comfortable down here and it's good yeah, to see. Yeah. I love, see, I go to the beach so much too and that's like such a great way to like disconnect from everything. You can just go down in the evening, go yeah. fish and like put the phone away. I think that's one, that's like my favorite thing to do. Put the phone like, away. Put the phone away for just like a couple hours, and you yeah. feel so like refreshed. I've been going to the beach a lot more too lately. I bring the dog. Yeah, yeah, doing stuff like, like that. Let him run oh, down the, the freaking thing. And it's actually, I I think in like six years before Nicole like lived here, I might have gone to the beach like I could count on two hands. Right. How many times. And now right. like since she come with the with the dog, it's like our thing. I, I'm there like once or twice a week. But isn't oh, yeah. parking a bitch? No, man. We go park. If you That's go in the evening, a, too, it's, it's not Bob. Is parking terrible? <laughs> oh, my God. It's a Bob. Yeah, that's a total, like. <laughs> yeah, I was the. <laughs> That's a wild question. A <laughs> <laughs> like, that's that's going to stop him. That's just yeah, Bob's yeah. response that all the time. Just, that's going to yeah. stop him from it going It is to actually the really sandy out on the therapeutic, <laughs> though. Like, when you get like a sunset, you just out there. It's awesome. Get a little sandy. Bob would be the only person to worry about parking when going to the beach. I'm like 30 going on 85. Yeah, you really are. Yeah. I like it, though. Yeah. I feel like I'm the same so, way. The sand is so bad on my knees. <laughs> <laughs> and I got to put that sunscreen on. It's just, you know, I got to lather it. It's just not, I don't know. It's just not me. You know? I really do suck. I'm the worst. I bet if I get hungry, it's <laughs> <laughs> from the clouds. You know, dude. Can't sand can't gets on my food. You deliver Postmates <laughs> out on the beach. do without. <laughs> I really do suck. No, I, I feel like Bob knows what he likes. And that's, oh, that's yeah, it. You know, the guy's narrowed it down and yeah. he's created a system where he knows exactly what he likes. And <laughs> that's good. You know, the guy knows what he wants. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Better than something that's indecisive. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, look, G, I'll tell you this. It, it was it was awesome hanging with you. It's been awesome even hanging with you and Jupiter. Yeah. Even we were talking about well, how... I'm so excited for you guys to... Oh, it's going to be here. great. It's going to be so awesome. So the, the, the filming that we'll be able to do with you, um, we're pumped for it. We have a blast with you every time. Thanks for having us on the channel. Yeah. <laughs> you guys know where to find Grant. Find him over there on YouTube. That's your guy. That's our guy. Uh, we love you, folks. We appreciate you. That's been another edition of the Bob Does Sports Podcast with Grant Horvat. We will see you next time.